This is Guilford Shoreline East Station. It looks just like Westbrook Shoreline East Station. Well, this is on the other side. I believe this is the model uh, Shoreline East used for their current and upcoming platforms as well. This is Guilford Station as you can see here. You can't tell. This sort of looks like Westbrook Station. As you can see here, Guilford. The interesting thing I find here, this platform here just spurs off. Meanwhile, you have these two travel lines here. I'm not sure what the proper terminology is. If any rail geeks would like to help me out, that'd be nice. But this is interesting, for me at least. That's right, it's a Kone elevator. It's got Delta. Innovation Delta, whatever. That's dead. It's got the triangular shaped lanterns, the interesting triangular shape. If we look up here, you can see the eco disc thing. This is a rather early eco disc, it seems like. Here's the belt for the door. Seems like an, a really early eco disc model. Bluish floor, sort of like uh, Westbrook, a little bit, not as elaborate. This is elevator one. It's a Kone. Uh, 200 feet a minute, 2,500 pound capacity. There's your call cancel button. It's got a seismic feature. I find that interesting because Connecticut isn't really earthquake prone, nor is really most of New England. Standard KSS 200 indicator. Without further ado, let's go up to B. That rings. We do take a look out here. It's sort of similar to Westbrook Station. Actually, this seems like the uh, model for future Shoreline East stations. There's a few more that's going to be built. It's right in the middle of rural Guilford, I guess. I don't know. I shouldn't say rural, suburban, whatever. I can't think of the name. That's the control room there. Just like uh, Westbrook, it has these indicators on the outside. You can see the Kone machinery here. And you can hear the fan too. That's kind of cool. Let's go down to L. A little bumpy on the way down. You can see the Kone interlock, whatever that funky little thing. That's kind of cool. I think so. Good in the single.
You know, I'll give Kone credit. I like how that indicator fades out upon changing floor. Well, on the video on B. I don't know if you saw that, but there was some slight classic leveling. A lot of interesting stuff, that's all I gotta say. I couldn't get the name of that sensor. Anyways, here's the upper floor of the Kone. That's gonna be it for now.